welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. As you can see, today we're at the Incom opening right in the heart of Telford. So stay tuned to see this fantastic facility. Incom, their brand new apprentice centre right in the heart of Telford. We're going to take a look around and we're going to see everything, all the technology they have on offer and all the partners that are involved. So come on, Chris, let's go. So we've got tea and coffee obviously opening with the lovely ladies behind there. Keep coming, Chris. So this area is the fitting area. So this is where they start their course. So they'll probably do like two or three weeks on this course. So what they'll do is they'll be manually uh, hacksawing, filing to create these shapes here if we look at this is the um, portfolio that they'll be doing so obviously they start off with uh, a simple surface finish on this as well so remove all sharp edges uh, the name everything so this is a basic technical drawing that you'd have in an engineering end user as well so this will come in from a customer can you make this the material the size everything and obviously as you can see over the coming weeks the jobs will get progressively harder and harder. Okay, so great facility. They've got loads of spots here so you can fill this area. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go on to the manual turning. They've got 15 machines down this row. So I'm just going to have a look at here. So they're optimum machines, um, manual lathes, obviously with this as well. They'll have a program that they need to go through different parts different styles so you'll have tapered edges or oh, someone's just dropped a someone's just dropped a chuck key over there um, but this place is just fantastic this technology oh, we didn't have this many to be able to accommodate uh, world leading engineers and obviously the skills gap that we've got in the UK now this place is just fantastic okay so let's go and move on to the milling section so 15 of these milling machines again all top quality obviously as you can see they've got the um, the sheets that they need to be able to this goes towards their qualification as well so they're learning on the job they're earning on the job and the good thing about this is the customers the companies are putting them through this and with income they're guaranteed to get some of the best training like I said it's Ofsted outstanding so you know that the trainers are doing something right because being Ofsted, Ofsted are very critical of their work so this is the forklift truck operating area so income don't just offer manufacturing they also offer labor labor um courses so obviously as you can see there's different things to pick up there's a batmobile in the corner i don't know whether you noticed that chris um, but obviously all different types of engineering you wouldn't think that forklift training but how are you going to carry those materials to your bench how are you going to pick up a pallet of those finished parts and get them on the truck to go out. So it all intertwines. And I'm not sure about the square footage, but this place is just humongous. Just take a look. And over here, Chris, quick, they've got the F1 in school. Sorry, I thought they were going to start then. I don't know what's going to happen because I haven't seen it yet. I presume they're going to fly down at some sort of substantial speed. Um, by pressing a buzzer um, and this is F1 in school so this is a huge attribute to income they're getting kids involved in engineering right at an early age and what is more fabulous and more glamour and everything about F1 Monaco or Las Vegas it's very good and it's just a different way of bringing in new clientele bringing in uh, skills I think they're gonna go are they gonna go it's very tense. Who's going to win? I hope it doesn't fly off. You know? Oh. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Come on, we'll go, we'll go and have a look. We'll come back. We'll come back. Okay, so because it's the opening as well, we've got tours going on. Um, we've got tours going on. They're all around. So people that have come to see businesses, local SMEs, 
they're all coming to have a look around and look at all the technology that's on offer. So come into this bay. So as we walk in, you've got an op sheet, so select material, everything that the apprentice needs to start off with. And obviously, as you can see, we've got all the welding base. So top technology, you're learning everything. It's all safety equipped as well. They've got the right trainers. They've got the right equipment and they've got the right space here because they're right in the heart of Telford. The Telford was only formed 50 years ago, um, apparently, and to create this, it's not a village area, it's more of an industrial area. And for them to have a technical centre here, right in the heart means that customers don't have to go far for their training, which is great. So keep coming down, Chris. Everybody's eating, everybody's chilling. Um, we're working, obviously. Um, but coming to this way here, I do, as you can see, they've got a talk, I'll let you go in first. So the good thing about this, these talk talks is, is it, it promotes local companies to come. This is what your, the guys, the apprentices will be doing. Um, obviously, as you can see, they're going to be doing electrics in here. So we've got phase boards, we've got 10 day electrical installation and maintenance. So this is a fuse box, isn't it? Is it a fuse? No, that's a fuse box, sorry. <laughs> I did my electrical a very long time ago. So obviously, as you can see, they'll put your wires in, your earths, your live cables, all ready to go out on the road. And it's great that they can have this here um, because also they've got show shadow boards as well. So people will have a designated area. If you've lost your hammer and it's your fault, you're probably gonna have to pay for it. Otherwise, it should go back on the shadow board. So come along, Chris. Heavily involved in STEM workshops as well. So STEM helps children in the industry come through. Engineering isn't one of the things that it picked up, is picked up on in primary schools, but creating young engineers and their brains and everything like that is why I got, not saying that I'm clever or anything, but that is why I got into engineering because of my granddads and because I loved taking things apart not necessarily putting them back together properly, but seeing how things work. So obviously we're work using these syringes here to power air to make these objects work round. So come on, Chris, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. So feel to miss are a big part. Sorry, guys. Feel to miss are a big part of income as well. Their factories are just down the road on the other sites. So feel to miss extracts all the moisture coming out of your machine, all the all the mist that uh, is created from your machine running, your tooling going, and it's very important now with the safety regulations that everybody has to have mist extractions on their CNC machines. It's a legality do it or be fined. Holter robots, so great robotics. Um, Holter, Fanuc as well, well-renowned. Um, they're learning on well-renowned piece of equipment again, and it's just, I love it. I just bloody love it. It's just fantastic. These kids are gonna be so well-educated. And sorry, just quickly, Chris, the CNC, see, can't forget the CNC, so let's shut the straw. So they've got Siemens working. So this is what I worked on as well. So all your programs, how to put your tools in, everything like that. So also we've got, do you think I can remember how to open the door? Oh God, I don't want to waste time, door and lock. Ah, I remember. So here, so they're cutting a bit of foam board with all your tooling there. And also, as you can see, Chris, filter mist extraction boxes on top of these CNC machines. We've also got to the right of me, a metrology. We can't get into it at the minute, but we'll put up some B-roll. So the metrology section over there from Hexagon, they're a partner as well. Um, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it, because I have, I'm really out of breath. And I've just thought that Gareth to let us come here and observe this and the open, and the open day and let us be part of it is really, really lovely of him. And I wish him all the best and for the strength in income to grow.